Hey beautiful, how you doing? Welcome to Solvine. This is Jamie. We are checking in for your energies. Let's see what is going on and what you need to know for today. So our Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising energy. Oh, something's moving forward. So we've got the Chariot energy, the Two of Inspiration. Five of Materials and Seven of Materials. Okay, so there's a bit of a shift going on. Uh, interesting energy on what's coming through. What is this about, friend? Let's check this out. So it seems like there's something that moves forward here, maybe that you've been waiting for, or maybe you're choosing to move forward in a certain direction um, and make new plans where something just hasn't been perhaps working out or you weren't getting something that you felt um, you, were, you were getting from. There's some situation here, yeah, that there's just something that, Yeah, I feel that you were w wanting to work on or were hoping something would move in a certain direction, but I feel like you've just taken control of this and just decided to move forward and make plans. But something about the plans perhaps didn't go exactly how you wanted or what you thought you would get out of it. Um, I don't know if that's more a mindset thing, but whatever is happening, it's you're getting some fruits from your labor. Labor. So I see that as a really good sign. So let's um, dive in a little bit more and see where this is taking us uh, in terms of the movement forward here, whether this is you. I mean, that's Cancerian energy. So there's a lot of a determined energy. There's a lot of uh, thought and feeling behind it, you know. Uh, and yeah, just taking a bit of control here in a certain direction. So there's something that you could be coming into partnership with or some plans that you're wanting to take forward here. It's making a decision. So let's check out, goodness, um, what this uh, chariot energy is about. What do we need to know about the chariot energy? What do we need to know about the chariot energy? This is so interesting. You keep getting this six of emotions coming up. So there's something from your past or a situation here. So we've got the moon energy, the six of emotions, and the four of voices. So there's definitely something going on here that you may not be sharing, that you may be looking at uh, and considering. Yeah, going going a certain path or going certain direction. But I don't know if you're sharing much about it. I feel like this is something you might be keeping a little bit to yourself because of some past experience. Yeah, some past experience that perhaps you've been working on, healing on. Super interesting. Let's get a little bit more on what's hidden here with the moon energy. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. So do you have, I saw the two of cups. Let me double check. Yeah, you've got the two of cups with the death energy. So is there something here about a connection that perhaps didn't work out or a connection that's coming back to life here that you're choosing to explore um, and kind of keeping to yourself. I want to see what's really going on here. Look at you. All right. Share more on this death energy. What's this death energy about? Yeah. Okay. So something, something has come to a close here with a situation or a connection it seems, but there's something that you're not sharing about it. Or maybe intuitively you feel that this is over. Share more on the moon energy. Yeah, okay. So you've got the hanged muse, so hanged man and the tower. What are you doing here? It's like you're making a complete change here because of some situation. Share more on this, what this six of emotions represents. Thank you. So you've got the ace of voices and seven of inspiration. So it's like there's something that you've seen, that you've witnessed, that you've come into some understanding to, that you're just choosing to go a certain path and direction. Um, and I feel you feel this is in your best interest in terms of supporting your growth, supporting your healing. Um, it seems to be about some connection or some partnership here that has possibly ended. So I don't know if you're in a new place, a new location, but it's something about moving, traveling, 
moving towards. So this could be past energy. So I don't know if you're in a certain situation right now because of something that has happened or occurred. Um, and maybe something too that you, you've been witnessing or looking at and experiencing yourself right now on, I don't know, like this little bit of recognition of where you are and how you got here and kind of what's next. So because I feel like you're you're choosing something here in terms of your path and journey because of something that happened. And this energy keeps coming on in, guys. So you're going through a pretty significant change right now, but I think a very purpose-driven one. Uh, two of inspiration. It's like the universe is working and conspiring with you to make whatever you need to make happen. So the two of inspiration, you've got the nine of inspiration and the seven of emotions. So when we connect to this energy, this is really talking about the plans that you have. It's like you're determined to make something happen here. There's something that's on your mind. There's something that you're thinking about. While you may not have all the answers, it's like, I know I'm doing this. I know where I'm kind of going and I'll figure it out along the way. Let's get a little bit more here. What do we need to know? And then you've got the four of materials. Yeah, you're very determined about something that you're doing, building um, or moving towards. You may not have all the answers, but I do feel it's something that you're really thinking about and really feel connected to. But let's talk more about this five of emotions energy. Damn, this keeps coming up. Okay, the priestess and the muse of inspiration. What else do we need to know about this priestess energy, please? Okay, so you've got the eight of voices coming on in. And I even think this combination came in last time too um, in yesterday's read. So you've got the page of inspiration, night of voices and the page of emotions. So there's two curious energies about with this high priestess. So... Again, I'm getting this sense something's bothering you or something about some movement. Like, you know, you need to make some movement. I don't know if financially if you're looking at a certain situation or making decisions on where you feel the most supported, the most safe. Like there's something about the safety and security of something is what I feel. And I feel you're trying to navigate this, but... It could be the information that you have or what you learn or what you come connected to. There's like these good ideas and things that have your interest, but it's something is still not enough. And I think you're trying to assess a certain path and journey here, but there's something more that's coming in through with this night of voices. What is this night of voices that we need to know? Okay, so you've got the king of materials, which I like, and the eight of inspiration. So whatever's coming in is a pretty solid offer. So I feel if you've been worried about something coming together, something building, something working for you, we can see that this is coming through and coming together for you, something very solid and secure. Um, let's get a little bit more, though, on this news of inspiration and what this is about. Okay, so we've got the empress energy. We'll take that, right? We've got the page of voices. And then we have the three of inspiration. So there's something here. I, I feel you're very connected right now. Very, like very connected in a way of like magnetic energy of things that you want to do, things that you want to create. I feel like there's like people watching you, but not watching you in a weird way. I think people are identifying you or it's like, the energy that I'm getting here regarding this particular is that there's something here that at some point in time didn't work out or hasn't worked out or you're looking at what hasn't been working for you. But we do see that you're, just, you're going to get something out of it. And that's what I feel is happening is like you're something where something was lost or something felt disconnected or something felt left behind because I feel this has been part of your journey, okay, this has been part of your journey and you're still working through some things based on where you've been or based on a situation you've been in, but you're making major progress, but you may get into moments or periods of your current experience where you're feeling like, what if I can't do this? What if I can't make this? I know I need to, to build on this or go a certain direction. I think you're feeling called somewhere, but there, there's still choices and things you've got to weigh up, things you've got to manage. And I think there's other things that are really exciting you as well. 
So this could be like places that you may want to explore or um, move to. This could be like your career decisions and choices. This could be like new relationships or partnerships, whatever it is. But with this, um, this night uh, of, uh, sorry, this night of voices, having as well this movement forward with, with the king of materials, let me get it out right. So the king of pentacles here, something's coming in that's pretty solid. Someone is expressing interest. Someone is expressing some form of stability. They could be an earth energy, okay? Um, but I'm also getting a sense here that whatever plans that you're making or someone has some pursuit of you, because this could be pursuit of you, like someone's pursuing you here, okay? They feel connected, they feel attracted, uh, and they're really like, I feel like someone's got their eye on you, and I don't know, you might end up connecting with them, or they're going to connect with you, they might want to travel to see you, uh, that's the kind of energy that I'm feeling. So let's get a little bit more on what this seven of materials is. What do we need to know about the seven of materials energy? Look, counterpart. Okay, but there's some conflict. So you've got the king and queen of materials showing up here with the five of voices. So let's see what this five of voices is. What do we need to know about this five of voices? Whoa. Wow. So you've got the ten of emotions here. If you can see that. With the queen of inspiration. Wow. Okay. So there's two... Two major connections here. You've got the king and queen of wands, and then you've got the king and queen of pentacles. With this ten of emotions, but there's some conflict around this connection for some reason. What is this? Hmm. I'm going to get some clarifiers out because there's something else going on here. So there's two two part, part partnerships but i don't know if they're two separate i feel like they're potentially you could be looking at two potential paths that you're going towards and they have different kind of energy behind it one is a bit more exciting one is a bit more passionate pursuit and then you've got another one that's more grounded more supportive more stable but one of a lot of growth i feel like the the pentacles energy is more growth and i feel that and I take it growth and more personal growth where the other one is more, I feel just a different type of excitement and energy in terms of what you're going after. So, but the muse, it seems the muse of inspiration. So where the counterpart connection is with this 10 of emotions and queen of inspiration and the king of inspiration, which is the wands energy, you've got the empress energy connected to that. So someone definitely feels you're their person, you're their partner or wants to pursue that. So this could be one person that is really in pursuit of you. They, they've got their eye on you. They feel like, okay, I really need to connect with Pisces. I really need to go after this. Um, or if you are the masculine here, you may have found someone that you're very like eye on. Uh, there's something about it that you need to connect with. You just feel like this is the place that you need to be um, or work on whatever this is. But there's also some conflict with something else. So let's see more on what this five of voices is and what this represents. Two of cups. See, what choice? What is this choice? Share more what this two of cups energy is. What? Okay. So someone seems to be in conflict with themselves. Maybe they're in question of whether this connection can actually work. Um, because they feel connected, but maybe they're questioning the stability of this. Is this something you can build upon, grow, um, and have like a stable, a stable connection versus like fun, flowy, flirty, a bit of a different energy, because I think you guys might already have that, um, or you're connected into that, but then it's like, can we actually make something of this? Because the conflict that's coming up is around this two of cups and some form of communication. Let's learn more on what this communication is. So you've got the nine of pentacles, the five of cups with the world energy. So someone has chosen to do something on their own here. And again, I feel being on their own, someone hasn't been perhaps 
really fulfilled on their own, okay? Um, even though they may be successful, even though they may be doing their own thing, I'm just getting a sense here, someone, as much as they're good on their own, I don't feel that's where their happiness lies. I don't feel that their truth is being on their own. They want or seek a connection and partnership. Uh, and they've probably come across you and or you've come across them, take this vice versa energy. So I feel like someone is deeply desiring something to move forward here. Share more on this five of cups. Yeah, again, how someone's feeling. Someone needs to share how they're feeling. I think someone's feeling at a bit of a loss right now. Share the world energy. What do we need to know? Oh, yeah, someone's definitely in a healing process right now. So we've got the star energy and the four of swords. So someone may share with you what they're currently going through or someone sharing that they're at a loss not having you in their life or some steps or motion or movement that they've made. And then you've got the strength energy and the hanged man. So it seems like you're going to take a little bit of a step back from something here. It's like something something or someone wants to put an effort in. Someone or something sees, sees you. And I'm saying something because it could be a person, a place, a dynamic, some situation that definitely feels attracted to you. You make them happy. You feel connected, okay? I don't know if this is current energies or something you're moving into, but it's like someone wants to express how they're feeling and what they're going through. And um, maybe there's something that's gone a little bit quiet or someone's gone through a healing process as an out and is now on the other side of feeling really happy and feeling really good about it. But I don't know if they have the confidence to come forward. And maybe that's what they're trying to do is find this confidence to come forward because they know how you make them feel. They know, um, they feel that this could be stable, but at the same time, they're in, they've got some inner conflict going on. What else do we need to know? What's the advice here? Whoa. So the advice here, we've got seven of pentacles, which is up there. We've got the six of swords. So moving a bit more peaceful, father of swords, the devil energy, the nine of cups. And then we've got the uh, six of wands. I mean, this is really nice. Yeah, someone's in their head about you. I'm just going to say someone's in their head about you. Whatever they're in their head about, they they recognize how you make them feel. Um, I just think there's some situation and we see it kind of here is that someone wants to move forward here. They see a potential of something that can grow, that can blossom, but they're also in their head about this situation. And again, you've got the nine of cups as well as the 10 of cups. So there's something here that seems to be really meaningful, but in addition, they want to move forward with this because they see that this opportunity, this situation, your connection, whatever this may be, can be something more fruitful, more, you know, um, I'm going to get alive. Like it's making sense to them. I don't know if this person feels that you're their person. You feel that someone's your person, whatever this is, but that's kind of the energy that I'm getting. But someone just seems a little bit, I don't know if it's too confronting to them. Maybe they're assessing some situation here and probably not really understanding how they're feeling and how to express how they're feeling, especially if you're dealing with a masculine, but you could also be going through the same thing. It's like some, this person, you, them, you're on each other's mind here. Uh, and whatever is happening here, you both know that, I don't know, it's like you have this idea or knowing or understanding that this can be something pretty incredible, but at the same time, you're it's caught up more in thought than expressing. And I feel that's the issue. So someone needs to kind of build the courage to come forward. Um, what's the outcome here that we need to look at? Potential outcome. Thank you, spirit. Okay, we have got the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Cups. I mean, come on, guys, this is beautiful. So there's a very solid offer coming in here. I mean, I don't think you can get much more solid than a King of Pentacles, an Ace of Pentacles, okay? Um, and then the Two of Cups. So there's something really wonderful that's coming in. Um, I think this person's building the courage to ask you for some reason. Maybe this is something that they've never felt on such a deep connection or level before. Uh, and they're trying to figure out how it's making them feel. So someone's doing something as they've been going through their own processes, their own growth. Um, Cause I do feel in some way, this muse of inspiration and King of Pentacles could be the same person. They're just, they bring different energy to the table, right? They've got fire energy. They could be close, you know, fire energy to, um, uh, 
have a lot of fire energy and a lot of earth energy in their chart. But yeah, I just feel like someone is who, who's pretty much a go-getter. They go hard for what they want when they want it. But for some reason, it's like you're bringing up something else for them that maybe they're not used to. Uh, and I feel like this person's going to come in with a pretty solid offer or wanting to connect or wanting to share uh, and express something with you. And I think they're really hoping that you choose this. So that's where I'm going to leave it for you today. I think that's a pretty sweet outcome, guys. Let me know in the comments below. And I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Bye now.